currently the community uh, is around about a third of South Asian and it's really welcoming to see that an organisation like Community Integrated Care has taken the effort to ensure that the needs of those communities will be served alongside all other communities as well. We've really worked hard with One Voice to understand the special characteristics of the South Asian community. The staff actually attended a number of workshops, but they, they wanted to listen to the people of the community. We've worked together to recruit a diverse staff team, to make sure that our food provision reflects different tastes, to make sure that our environment also reflects their heritage, so it is truly a place that's welcoming and supportive, and we're really proud to be listening to people's feedback and delivering on it. You cannot ignore 27% of the community and their need and aspiration. Their need and aspiration are probably different. Their food is different, their, probably their culture is different, their faith needs are different. One of the focus groups that One Voice helped us facilitate was around how we could best support the staff that work from us from the South Asian community. And that's things like uh, expectations around prayer times, uh, cultural and religious festivals and times that we need to be aware of where we could support staff better. I think it's vital that we have services like this, services that are essentially geared up to serve the South Asian community. One Voice were responsible for introducing us to some local mosques to make sure that people that we support are able to access those uh, should they wish for prayer. But on top of that, also make sure that as a care home, we're equipped to allow people to pray. Halal food provision was a must. So what was really enlightening in many ways is to realize that good quality South Asian uh, cuisine will be available to all guests, not just the South Asian guests, because I think in this country now, uh, Indian cuisine is among the most popular. When it came to the discussion of gender specific flaws, it was quite clear from the start that women wanted just female only. And I think because Community Integrated Care have listened to that, that would be a positive in terms of the community. We spent six to eight weeks sourcing this piece of um, memorabilia, which is a signed photograph by all the members of the Pakistani cricket team. And we'd like to think that when some of the South Asian uh, residents of each Netflap and look at that, it will remind them of their memories, of their past. It really befits a service of this kind. What's impressed me about the way the Community Integrated Care have done this is I think they've really reached out to all of the community in Blackburn to ensure this is a service that can support uh, and help people to live fulfilled lives. My words aren't enough to describe what they've actually developed in the community. A lot of prayers goes, goes to them, yeah. What is so good about community integrated care is not only are there a few steps ahead, they are quite a number of years ahead uh, in terms of progress, in terms of what they've got in, these, uh, in this home. I can confidently say that this home is fit for purpose for all sections of Blackburn's community and that makes us really proud. The work that we did with One Voice has been absolutely instrumental. The great thing is it's not just a piece of work we've completed, it's an ongoing partnership. And that means that we're able to provide culturally appropriate support without barriers to anyone.